everyone. Well, we're still on holiday at the moment, and what we've done today, we drove through finally, and we saw there was um, this Woodstock food in Erin. Yeah, we saw the big Erin, and we thought, I wonder if they've got that Woodstock food in there. XL, that's what it was. I did a bit of a video before, didn't I? Because they seem to do food bits quite cheap, and it's um, they supply all different people. Um, anyway, we had a look round in there, and they got quite a bit of stuff. So anybody who, who lives in Fiery, Fiery, in Fiery Filey, if you live in Filey, get down Erin because they've got some of this Woodstock food in in the XL range, and. Uh, these are lovely, these are. I don't know whether we had these before. I think I've seen them. But there's 15 lot in a pack. And these are hot cross swirl buns. Uh, and it says there, mixed spice flavour. Now, there's 15 in there. You know, so we've got another problem now. We want to cook them. And don't know how we're going to go on if we go home tomorrow. Because they might thaw out. So if anybody... Is watching this and they're on Primrose Valley as I'm doing it, come round and you can have one of these. We've got 15 to cook. So, um, how are we going to do this? We're going to feed the ducks. Yeah, we could feed the ducks with them, can't we? Not feeding no ducks with these. These are too nice. Or well, I could stand outside and sell them for two pounds each. You go and stand outside in the sun. I think I ought to show you something as well. Don't get naughty, Graham. I've been out in the sun a bit. It's, it's windy again, but really sunny. It's been a lovely day, to be honest. And um, I'm a bit fair skinned, Graham is. And he tends to catch the sun. Now, hang on, I've got. I managed to get eight in there. Now it's pushing them in. Don't push them because they're all sticky. Well, they're not crushed, but no, they're a bit close. No, don't. Well, if you don't get eight in, I have to do them three times. No, that's hard. Oh, yeah, it's not my electric. What am I thinking? Oh. Let's take some out. <coughs> there we go. They've got a bit more room now. We'll put six in. Look at that. Now, how do they recommend we cook these? I'm sure it tells you. Let me have a look at the bag. 190, 18 minutes. Couldn't be any simpler than that. That'll do us. 190, 18 minutes. But we won't do that. We'll do air fry. 190, 15 minutes. I think will be plenty. You know baking you can't cut the time down too much but i think 190 15 minutes will probably be about right so i'll switch that on but before i do i saw this and i thought will this appease the bakers and monsters look it's wooden and i saw it and i thought that'd be ideal won't it you know it's rounded there so look Am I safe with this? What do you think? This is for the bakers amongst us because I get in trouble for using a, a nylon spatula. I should be using a wooden spoon. What do you think? Is that all right? Tell me what you think in the comments. Right, let's get this switched on. Right, off we go. I'll bring you back and there's something to show you. I've brought you back, and I know we don't really like talking while I've got the air fryer going, but this is the bit I was going to tell you as well, look. We saw these in there, and these were in the XL range as well. Uh, and they're ready-baked chicken and mushroom pies. And uh, if they're anything like the rest of the XL, I expect them to be okay. But what we thought is, they'd be perfect when we get home from here yesterday we've got quite a drive home we could have these for his dinner we thought they'd be all right um yeah two pies for a pound so 
we'll see how we go with that anyway now i will bring you back with something to show you i've just brought you back because this is a bit of a, a view from our caravan and uh, while there's not a lot to look at it's just to see a caravan really you might be able to hear the wind and probably i can hear the sea as well and I've actually brought you out here because of something I thought you'd like to see. People keep saying to me, you know, I don't show my face on there. And I always think, who wants to see my face when you're cooking? It's a bit boring, isn't it? And also, you don't want to see me eating food. It's a terrible sight, isn't it? I mean, I see them and it's not what I want to see. So that's the reason I do it. But I know this is a bit of a boring picture for you now, but let me turn the camera around. There you go mate, I told you it's been sunny, look, look at that look, her face like a baboon's bum. <laughs> <It's, laughs> I, keep, I keep saying to you, it's, it's been bright, it's, we've had a cold wind, but when you get out of the wind it's lovely and sunny. And I mean, you know, we all feel a bit better for a bit of sun, but look at that, Wendy's taking the mickey out of my red face. To be fair, I'm pretty fair skinned and I do burn fairly easily. Is she in the window behind me pulling faces? I bet she is, isn't she? Yeah, Wendy's inside the caravan. I can't actually see her, is she there? I can't see her. Yeah, she's suffering a bit. She's had a bit of a cold. I mean, what a time to get a cold, but that's the way it goes, isn't it? She'd been taking blooming paracetamols after week, but she's been all right. She don't do a lot of moaning. I've got to say that, Anna. Can't say any other. Anyway, let's get in and see how these uh, swirls are cooking. Right, let's have a look and see what these swirls look like. Now, um, about four minutes from the end, I turned them over. So they should be okay both sides. Let's slip this one over and have a look. Yeah, look, you can see. Well, to me, they've come out pretty good. And I would say, if anything, they could do with a little bit less. I don't know, what do you think to them? Yeah, I think less. They, they, look, they look all right to me, but probably a bit less. Mm -hmm. That was 15 minutes. Right, okay. We'll do the ne next batch a little bit less. Right, this time, we've got five in, we'll do them a bit less. So it was one nine ten, and I think we can do them for twelve minutes. One nine ten. Twelve minutes. Off we go. And as I say, I'll turn them round when we're just a few minutes from the end. Right. This second lot, I put them on for twelve minutes. One nine ten. Uh, I turned them over at six minutes and there's four minutes left now so they've only actually had god blimey they've only had eight minutes and i'll be honest i think that's enough but what we'll do we've got one batch left so we'll have a taste of these before i mean we've had a taste of these lot two missing there already but what i thought they may go a bit hard and they, and they are a bit they're not they're overdone so i've tried to if anything do them a little under this time but as i say i put them in for 12 minutes and they've only actually had eight only eight minutes and they're saying 190 for 18 minutes so that's ridiculously low time they can't be ready but i'll let them cool down a bit and we'll have a taste and see what we think Right, <clears throat> now these have had another two minutes. Um, I cut one open and it was a little bit gooey, just right in the centre on one side. I suppose I've not actually flipped them over halfway through. Now these, these have had 10 minutes at 1.90. Now, the bits of baking I've done before, you can't really cut the timing off. So it must be something with these. I know they're, they're already made, so it's not like you're making the pastry, but, you know, usually if it's like 20 minutes, then 
you, you might knock two or three minutes off, but this from 18 minutes to 10 minutes is, well, I thought they won't be good enough, but again, I'll let these four cool down and we'll see what they look like before I go any further. Right, I brought you back because we'll cut one of these in half now and see what these look like. They actually feel a lot better. But uh, let's see. I think they're cooked all right, to be honest. Crikey, I can't believe that. So that is with it being cooked for 10 minutes. It's still a bit warm, but I think they're all right. I'll be honest, I want to get on with cooking them because I've got to cook my tea. We're having steak and chips. I've got to get on with it. Let's see what this one's like. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, it's crushed it a little bit with a knife. I don't know. Even the centre of that. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. But they're definitely they're cooked a bit too long. Right. We'll let it cool down a few more minutes and we'll have another go. Right, we're going to put the last lot in, look. The last four. I'm going to do them five minutes, turn them over, and do them five minutes on 190. And then we'll be sure where we are. So, air fryer, 190. Five minutes. Go. And I'll bring you back. Right, there's the final four. Still hot. I've just lifted them out. They are hot. Now, they've done, had 190. Five minutes each side. So uh, that's cut it down from 18 minutes to 10 minutes. So we'll have to see how they go. Um, yeah, I can't really taste them yet. They're too hot. I'm a little busy at the minute. Because... Um, I've got to get the tea on, but I'm sure they'll be fine now. We're not sure whether these are as good as the other items we've had. We think, ow. They're not, they're not um, puff pastry, are they? They're not, the, they're not the sort of pastry that we thought they were at first, but that's what we've ended up with. I'll tell you something, mate. If they're not, I'm sorry about saying that again. I'm talking to you, Paul. He don't mind me calling him mate. He is my mate. Anyway, um, I've gone off track now, mate. I've done it again. Oh, dear. Paul, we're going to get in trouble. Anyway, that's them cooked for now. Uh, they taste all right. They're not fantastic. Now, the other items we had on this XL range, they were really good. They're a bit heavy. These seem heavy, yeah. It seems... <clears throat> they're not they're not ever so light i don't think it's me because no i know it's not me so these are not my favorite item but i'll tell you what i can feel another uh like bread and butter pudding coming along i think these would be lovely in that well i mean we'll eat as many as we can but we ain't gonna eat all them are we so i think there'll be another bread and butter pudding in our dinner maybe not today though because i've i've got the tea to cook like i say so well, I hope this would be better than it was. They're all right, but they're not brilliant. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this XL range. The stuff, as I say, the stuff we had before has been great. These are not so, so, so brilliant. But look, £2 there. I mean, what do you get for £2? Not very much. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to comment, I'll try and get back to you. Bye for now. Well, it's not very often you hear me say this, but I don't like these buns. They're called oh, hot cross swirly buns. So whether it's something that were for Easter, I don't know. But it's unusual to find something I don't like. I've got to be honest, I don't like these. And Wendy don't like them. Mate, good job it was £2 for a bag. 
Never mind, you can't win them all. So until next time, it's bye for now, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.